In this video, we're going to look at a couple of the dialogs that we use to configure Smart, and we'll learn how to save and recall different configurations. In the previous video, we saw that when launching Smart for the first time, we were prompted to configure a measurement. On subsequent launches, Smart will ask us if we'd like to continue as is, create a new configuration, or load a saved configuration. If we choose to continue, Smart will resume its previous configuration just as we left it, unless you're running the demo version, which returns to first run defaults each time it's launched. The command bar, which spans the bottom of the user interface, consists of 10 user assignable buttons. Let's go to the config menu and choose command bar config. Here we can assign a function to each button and also set custom names if desired. Next, head into the config menu again and choose measurement config, or click the hammer and wrench icon on the control bar. This dialog is called the configurator, and notice it has three tabs. We already looked at the IO config tab, and the SPL config tab is covered in our SPL quick start video. In the next video, we're going to take a closer look at the measurement config. By opening the config menu again and choosing Manage Configurations, you'll see we have options to save the current configuration and restore the program to defaults, as well as manage the list of saved configurations. It's important to realize that a config file will store the entire program state including not only all configured measurements, but also things like window layout, view settings, and anything else you may have set in the program options. If you're familiar with digital mixing consoles, you can think of this like loading a show file. Loading this config file will restore Smart to the state that it was in when you saved the config. One thing that's not included in the config file is the saved measurement data itself. That's stored in the folder I showed earlier.